You still can see me up in my big truck, boy. Smiling like a little kid when I spin the corner with my brand new toy. I got a dog in their car. What it do? What it do? <laughs> As Mr. Florida Sunshine's steak would say. Um, this is your girl. OTR Diva, aka Pinky. So let's get the formalities out the way. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to know about when I'm going to drop a video, hit the bell. I am lacking a little bit this year uh, with getting my videos out. But I am getting them out as soon as I have the topics to bring out to y'all. Um, for all of my subscribers um, that have been watching me since day one, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Much love to y'all. And I still have my husband on my truck with me. So right now we are in uh, Maryland. We are making a delivery. Um, we're right now waiting to be get unloaded. And why do these people give me a little pager thing that's in Spanish? Like, I can really read Spanish. I can read a little bit. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit. But yeah, we still got the red light, so we're here. Um, just chilling. Then after this, um, we'll be waiting probably like 30 minutes. Uh, after we get unloaded here, we'll probably head down to a truck stop. And then I get my next load. By that time, my my DM will be in. And let me tell you, I, a lot of people ask me about the Northeast. Let me tell you, I love the Northeast. Yeah, during the winter it gets snow, and you know. But let me tell you, I I love my Northeast dedicated. Plus, I love my fleet. I really do. I can I can honestly say I love my fleet. Don't talk to everybody on the fleet, but when I do meet them out at a ship or a receiver i do talk to them so I, I i i love my fleet i love the northeast um one um north dedicated versus over the road okay so dedicated since i'm dedicated to the northeast i know where my shippers at i know my receivers i know how long it's going to take me to get there sometimes i'll be in another world but i get there um I know where I'm going to shut down at, where I'm going to eat at, um, if I want to take a 34, where exactly where I want to be at for my 34, um, so I can go and get out my truck, stretch my legs, have a little fun. Um, I know all of those. I know exactly what, you know, the areas and, and everything like that. Um, so I don't really have a problem putting out. Now, over the road is a different, um, because you're over the road, you're going to different places all the time. You're not going to the same places as you all are. Now, granted, yeah, sometimes you might go to the same places, you know, but as a dedicated route, you go to the same places. You pick up from the same places. You deliver to the same places. Now, I haven't delivered to all the places and I haven't been to pick up at all the places on the Northeast, but the places I have picked up, I, I pretty much do know them. Um, I tried my best when i um, I, I have my own GPS. I uh, store their address in my um, in my GPS, so that way, when I see it on the palm, I just go ahead. Okay, I know where I'm going. You know, even if even if it's a pre-plan, I'm going right there. I already got the saved, so I just go ahead and add it on to to the route. Um, but other than that, your girl is good. Like I said, I do love the Northeast. No problems. No nothing. The sun is shining in my face. <sighs> I am also being safe out here with this coronavirus that's going on. Not even wanting to do my little joke I've been doing since I've been, um, we've been talking about this thing, but um, it wasn't a joke per se about the, ooh, it wasn't a joke per se about the coronavirus, but about the new virus. Because after y'all, after we get over this, There'll be a new one out here. And everybody go back in panic mode all over again. So, um, but I just want everybody to stay safe and everything like that. Keep yourself sanitary. If you don't have to leave, um, 
out your home or anything like that. Stay at home. Um, let's travel as possible as can until we hear further notice about what is going on and we can resume our living our life. Um, we're living, but we're not living it to the fullest right now. Two weeks of quarantine is not living. But here's my thing. If you have kids in, at home and everything like that, find, find the least inexpensive thing to do with your children at home to spend time with them. Uh, if you're on a truck, find something that's least expensive where you don't have to get out your truck to really, you know, enjoy your time, to make the time go by. You know, don't sleep. I mean, you, please sleep, but don't sleep away into depression. But, you know, don't sleep because you're bored and you don't want to get out of the truck. But find something to, to you know, to entertain yourself. Um... That means get on Facebook. Don't cause drama to, you know, most people like to cause drama to entertain themselves. No. Find something that's productive to actually entertain yourself. Um, download some games on your phone or whatever. But here's my thing. Families that are out there at home or whatever. Y'all can get together, you know, have a, a sit-in, a shut-in, or whatever you want to call it, at home. You know, with family and everybody, making sure everybody is, you know, um, covered, you know, and they're, you know, with the the virus and the stuff like that. So I don't know. That's just my my two my two set on that. But then I'm out here waiting. I still got the red light. They still in my truck. I'm waiting on them to finish. And um, that's about all I can say right now. I have some things I want to talk about, but maybe in the next clip I'll be on, I'll be right there with it. Uh, so, till then, just watch the next clip. Hey, 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 this is your girl, OTR Diva. Uh, welcome. If you're new to my channel, please um, hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the bell if you want to know about new videos when I do drop them. And... Um, for all my subscribers that have been hanging with me since day one, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, as you can see, I am home. I am home, home, home. I am at home. I am going through all of this stuff with the coronavirus um, that's going on right now. So I am home. Uh, went to Walmart. Uh, it basically, there was like really no meat in the store or anything like that um, water they have actually got it down to where um, one case per, per per person or whatever so they have plenty of water toilet paper and stuff like that was gone I even went over there to where the the, um, the pins are at and got me a box of those washcloths um, to put on my truck I normally get those and wipes um so I got those to put on my truck um, as well. Sorry about that. So right now I'm here. I, like I said, I went to Walmart. Picked up a few things because I'm home. I'm only doing a 34. Um, so I am home. I'm actually cooking. I'm cooking, cooking, cooking. Um, cooking and washing clothes. Well, my husband's washing my clothes. Um, cooking. I got some things for my truck. Um... With all of this going on right now, I really don't know if I want a student on my truck or not. Um, so I'm gonna take it day by day um, to determine if I want to I want to get a student or not. So um, yeah, just bear with me because I'm gonna be in and out of the picture view, trying to turn over to me. I actually went out and bought me some lamb chops. So I got sirloin steak going and got my broccoli going. My husband went to the store because I forgot about the potatoes and I forgot about the shredded cheese. So and the onion. So he's going back to get all of that. Then I'm gonna whip all of that. Good stuff up. Um the lamb chops I bought so I can fix prepare it on my that I already have fixed and put on my truck and everything like that. Um so I don't have to really cook anything other than my end of the broccoli because it's already on my truck so um 
of that. I'm going to eat what I got here tonight and stuff um, and take the rest of it back to my truck. So, someone asked me how am I doing or how the trucking business is doing with um, this coronavirus that's going on. Well, if you haven't been paying attention, truckers are having a hard time out here right now. And I'm going to say really a hard time, but you know, we are having a hard time because restaurants are closed so when we go to the truck stop most of the time we like to go dine in we like to get out our trucks to go in and some of us like to go socialize stretch away from the truck to go inside and sit down and eat now we can't even do that we have we're confined to our trucks to eat however you have some restaurants like mcdonald's uh, burger king that have drive to we as truckers we cannot get our 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 18 wheeler into not not even bobtail into a drive through to have to get anything to eat. You know, places we, our drivers are walking um, up to the drive through. They are turning us around. So we're asking the public to actually help us out. To actually, you know, if you see a truck driver who wants to order, you see a truck. Ask them, do they want to order something so that way we can utilize you as a person of me to get our, our food for us and we give you the money and everything like that. Um, however, you know, uh, going into truck stops, um, you know, we can, you know, use our, our own cups to get stuff. We can't, we have to use um, a cup from the store, which I, I truly understand. Sanitize, sanitary, you know. But here's the thing. When I was young, my mom always told me, wash my hand after I use the bathroom. Wash my hand um, before I eat. Uh, wash my hands from when I, from outside, when I go outside, from outside playing, when I come in, wash my hand. So, my thing is, why is washing your hand like something new to everybody? We should be the cleanest country right about now because everybody's taking hand sanitizer. And we should be clean. That means if we, you know, if to me, if you ain't been doing this, you're nasty. And as as Americans, we should have been doing this a long time ago. I mean, I mean, we should have been doing this from day one, washing our hands and everything like that. I mean, to this day, I go in the restroom and I still see people who use the bathroom and don't even wash their hands and walk right on out. This coronavirus is not a joke. I mean, to me, if you have underlying health health issues and stuff like that, you are a target for it. Not saying somebody who's healthy is not, but somebody who's healthy is a target just as well as somebody who has underlying health conditions is target. Everybody is a target for this. So we all need to do our part, washing our hands. Now, my pet pee right now is, why are you a store clerk? Why do you have gloves on your hand? If you're going to touch... The keyboard, you're going to touch money, you're going to touch this. If people are giving you stuff and you got gloves on, you're touching, you. by the time you get to me, you haven't even changed gloves. But you want to touch my bottle of water at the neck, at where I put my mouth at. No. To me, take the gloves off. If you want to use gloves, take the gloves off, get your old new gloves, and touch my stuff. Now I'm getting to the point now, while this is going, I'm not having nobody touch my stuff. I would literally put my stuff there and let I was scanning myself. I would I don't want nobody touching it with the, with gloves on. That's just me. I don't want nobody touching with nothing with gloves on. Hold on one minute. I'll be right back. Sorry. So um yeah, that's what I am planning on doing when I go into the stores and stuff like that. Um my daughter's about to put some lamb chops on the stove while I do this video with y'all. So um that is all that's going on uh, with the coronavirus. Um, as Stevens, uh, our DMs are working from home. Um, even though we are keeping six six seconds um, away from automobiles when we're driving now, we are keeping six feet away from having social dis having social distance. Um, so uh, I'm keeping an eye on what's going on. I'm keeping an eye on what's going on and everything like that. Uh, am I worried about my family? Yes, I am. Not only my family here in Florida, but my family in Virginia. And not only those, but I'm worried about my trucker family just as well. I'm worried about any individual that, that is sitting watching this video right now. I am worried about you. I'm worried about your family just as well. 
And that's just the type of person that I am. I just worry about everybody. I'm going to pray for each and every soul out there that they do not come in contact with the coronavirus. Pray for the ones that have, that, um, have been affected. Pray for the ones, um, the family that have lost somebody um, during this um, pandemic or epidemic that's going on right now. Uh, I'm just going to pray for everybody. Um, in the meantime, I want to share some things with y'all. I got a new phone. I got a new phone. It's for my business. So I got a new phone. Um, and uh, yeah. Even though the alcohol pad done dro dried up on me, <laughs> I got a new phone. Um, it's a Note, uh, a Note 10 uh, Plus. Uh, got it for business wise. So it's my business phone. Um, I probably would be giving that number out to certain folks business wise. Um, so other than that, I'm cool. I'm chilling. But I want to know how everybody else is doing out there with all of this that's going on. And, you know, to me, like today when I was in Walmart, I did greet some workers. Um, I did tell them thank you for their hard work. You see people in Walmart, please thank them for their hard work that they're actually doing. Thank them. You see a truck driver, thank them as well for their hard work and their dedication that they're doing to still provide for us Americans. Just please thank them. I really don't know how this go on. But it says the front, it says the back. I have no clue. But we're gonna figure out just a minute how this sucker goes on. those other pieces of meat. Okay, this your girl. I've ate dinner. Dinner was good. Um, I already fixed me like three containers of food to put on my truck. Um, I already have food on my truck that I need to cook as well. But I have um, my um, lamb chops and broccoli and cheddar cheese. Uh, in my containers, so that's done and that's ready to go on my truck. Uh, excuse me, as of right now, I'm a bit tired. I have a, and I'm just feeling that right now. Um, I, I am on this keto diet. Uh, let me tell you, the struggle is real on that time. I am. Majority of I can do. Um, I have I struggle with trying to eat bread now. Pasta I haven't ate. Um, rice I haven't ate. Um, my biggest struggle is bread, especially if I go to McDonald's or somebody. It's my biggest struggle. But somehow I can go to Subway and I ask for a sub, and and they don't have a problem. Don't I even ask for a sub? I just get a, a salad. But go to McDonald's and now. I can't, I don't even ask for a salad. I end up eating a burger. So, I am going to um, refrain from going to Burger King and McDonald's and stuff like that. I would just probably just do Subway and just do um, my salads. 
um, at Subway. And if I can't find a Walmart to go get the salads from. But so far, that is my biggest problem. Um, other than that, I'm doing very good. I bought me some, um, some little caramel, um, little snack things. That's keto that I found at Walmart. And I normally eat one of those, um, before bedtime. And I only like eat it. It's like a Reese's Pieces cup. I only like eat it before bedtime. Normally, I buy a bag, um, a little Debbie donut. I eat half, and then in the middle of the night, I would eat the rest of them while I'm sleeping, half sleep, I would eat. So I figure if I get this snack, and which has been working for me, I eat this one snack, because I don't want to get up in the middle of the night eating them. I eat this one snack, that one caramel rice cream dog, Reese's cup, I eat that, and uh, I'm good, I sleep all night long. Don't worry about getting up and eating anything else. I eat um, cheese, I eat pepperoni, um, I eat my, I eat, I, I love broccoli. Um, if, if any vegetable that I would eat more than anything, it is broccoli. So, I do carry broccoli on my trunk. I try to mix it up as best, best way I can. Um, shrimp and broccoli, chicken and broccoli, beef and broccoli, steak and broccoli, however, I'm, I'm, and I add cheese to it, so it, it, it's not dull to me. I can still eat it. Um, so I'm trying to see if what's going to happen if I want to actually lose weight um, on this. Um, I'll know next month. I'm going to keep on doing it. And um, I'm just going to, you know, do, do what I'm supposed to do. Hey, excuse me. I have the scarf on my head because my hair needs to be done. And I'm getting it done tomorrow, which is Sunday. I'm getting it done. My beautician doesn't work on Saturday um, because she goes to church on Saturdays. So, um, I'll be getting it done tomorrow. So, y'all might see me looking different in my next clip. But other than that, I'm going to do this 34. Tomorrow I will be back in my truck. Um, I'm probably going to check on my truck tonight. But I will be back in there tomorrow. Sometime tomorrow because I'm going to be getting my, my truck straight. And then I am going to stay there. I'll be back. I'll come back home. I'm going to say all my goodbyes to everybody tomorrow. Spend as much time tonight and tomorrow with my kids and then I am headed out to my truck uh, disinfect my truck clean my truck uh, change around some things and then I'm going to go to sleep as so I can make sure my delivery is on time um, Monday and then I'm going to shut down find a truck stop and shut back down because I don't have another load of picks up until 11 o'clock Monday night so yeah and then I would determine if I'm going to actually get another, if I'm going to actually get a student on my truck or not. Um, there's just so much going on with this coronavirus. Um, it's really, you know, it's, it's a lot. So that's something I got to think about um, if I want to do that or not at the present time of what we are going to. Um, can't think of anything else, but y'all check out the next clip. Hey everybody, this is your girl. It's it's a fun clip. How y'all digging the new dude? How y'all digging this? I am loving it. I am so loving it. Look, look, look at the face. Look at the dude. Oh, your girl is enjoying this. I am so like so playful right now. Um, I am in um, South Carolina right now. I already, uh, my husband is off my truck. I um, delivered my load this morning um, in Jacksonville, which I was late. Um, I was late because my <laughs> head buzz when I did my um, pre-trip inspection, I realized one of my light bulbs was out. And um, I went to the nearest loves and the loves said that their technician won't be here until 7.30. I had to be in Jacksonville at 6. So, um, so now I'm in South Carolina. 
I laid on the day I pick up my load. Um, Y'all don't mind me. I feel so pretty right now. <laughs> um, I was supposed to go get my hair done. Um, so, in the meantime, I had uh, a friend of mine hook me up because my beautician uh, counseled on me because of the virus. So, I am really, really loving this. I am really, really digging this. What do y'all think about this I, I I am so in love with this I am digging this like really totally um, um, I have been taking pictures I have been playing and, and everything like that I, I I really like this I am not a fan of very very long hair but um, let's see if I can show you how long this comes to it comes to right here I am not a really big fan of long hair, but I love this right here. Oh, especially my color, my color. Oh, okay, okay, calm down, calm down, Pinky, calm down, calm down. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. But anyway, I'm gonna take my 10 hour break. I have changed some things around in my truck. I bought some extra, um, I bought some gloves, I bought some paper towel, I bought some stuff for me um, if I am solo if I don't get a student um, solo I could be able to use my own uh, private bath um, bathroom toilet in my own truck and I don't have to worry about anything but um, yeah so um, the trip with my husband um, let's just say it started out a little rocky at the beginning and then um, I guess he realized that he has a beautiful thing <laughs> and um, we we patched things out and then towards the end he got back rocking but before I was able to leave for my 34 we got it together well rather he got it together um, being a truck driver does put a strain on relationships but it can work if you are both committed to it and you actually have that support um, with your with your mate and everything like that so I do feel confident that I have the support I'm just gonna just see what he's going to do um, I'm not gonna put no more pressure on him because he's going he's also going through a lot as well um, I'm not gonna get into all his personal business because that's my husband's personal business um, but he's going through his own thing I am here even though I'm on the road I am here for my husband I'm just gonna see you know work things out the best way I can. I did enjoy my time with him. I really did. Um, so, we did, we did, I think we did like 134 together. And, we were, I mean, I really did. We got to talk. We got to do a lot of things. Um, you know, and the talking part is like, communication is like the big thing in a relationship, especially in trucking. Um, if you're, you know, your husband is gone away and he's doing trucking and your girlfriend or your boyfriend, whoever, talking, communication is a big part. Um, so we did a lot of talking and everything like that. Like I said, I'm just going to see where things go. Um, but I am in a good, I'm in a good place. I'm not in stress. I do need a vacation though. I really, truly do. Um, I did book uh, me a vacation somewhere. <laughs> But because of the virus, my council, my uh, plans got canceled. Um, so right now, I'm just trying to figure out if I'm just going to go home and take, you know, about four days off, um, or if I'm going to go to Virginia. Um, just haven't made my mind up just quite yet. I probably end up going home um, and spending four days there because I haven't really been home, home to really enjoy myself, especially with my four-year-old. So I really need to go home and really enjoy him because I miss him. I miss him so much. But um, y'all check out the next clip because I really don't have anything else to say right about now. Um, y'all know, make sure y'all wash your hands. Make sure you, um, you sanitize. Keep your hands out of your face. I don't know how you do that. But keep your hands out your face, out your mouth, out your whatever. Just wash your hands constantly. Um, 20 seconds, you know. So, that's all I have to say. So, I will talk with you later. Hey, this is your girl. I am doing this little quick little um, snippet and this is the end.
end of the video. I am in Connecticut right now. I just picked up my student. I have had a student on my truck since November. And y'all do not want to see what my truck look like <laughs> with all my crap. Let me show y'all real quick. This is what my bed looks like right now. I have entirely too much stuff on my truck. So I'm actually, after this doing, I am actually going home to downsize everything. Because I have entirely too much on my truck. I need to figure out how to get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, yes, I am going to sleep on this bed. I have slept on this bed plenty of times with all this stuff on my bed before. And I'm going to sleep on it again. However, some of the stuff might be in the front seat at in, um, during the night. But it'll be back here. But I'm going to especially go through this right here. Because I have two duffel bags on, on the truck. So I'm going through this one. And I'll probably end up keeping one. And then like my sweatshirt since it's starting to warm up. I'm going to get rid of my sweatshirts. Um, but leave them at home. I'll probably leave uh, two of my Steven shirts. Um, sweatshirts on the truck um, with me. Um, my pillow is going to actually stay. But I'm getting rid of everything else. Um. It's on my truck. So this is actually what my truck looked like right about now. Look at all this. Look at this mess. Too much. And then see my new carpet. Oh, it feels so good. Gotta go to Walmart, get me another one. I ain't even gonna tell y'all what it is. Next time, next my next video, once I clean my truck up, y'all will know what it is. Alright. So y'all seen my messy truck right my truck is messy right yes i have too much stuff i am going home i'm going to actually downsize my husband has said he's going to help me downsize some of my stuff on my truck because i have too much i constantly keep bringing more stuff i go home and i bring more stuff on my truck like for some some apparent reason i just bring more stuff um so i need to get rid of some stuff um so one of the things is I am going to keep um, my Steven shirts on my truck. So um, I'm getting rid of some of the other stuff that's on my truck. Sorry, I'm hungry. Um, like I said, I have a student on my truck. She's not on here right now. Um, she went to use the restroom. Um, don't know where we're going. Just yet. Oh, take that back. I got a free brand right now. Let's see. We're actually going to No, nah, I don't think we're going to be able to do that because we're in Connecticut right now. There's no possible way I can make that look right there. Um, yeah, he just sent me a thing saying go to Pennsylvania, pick up a load, and um, take it to Maryland. Um, how and when, when my clock, um, I don't have no many hours, and she can't really drive that many hours. Um, and that load is due tomorrow morning at 9 30. Not, not gonna happen. I'm not gonna stress my stuff out today. And my student out today. No siree. Won't be happening. But I will get him a call and uh we will discuss this. Um this 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 pre plan that he just sent me. But if so, we'll be going to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania to Maryland to drop off. Um gonna see how this works. Um, after my student, I am going home um, for a couple of days because I am burnt out. I'm really, really burnt out, really, really tired. So I'm going home. So I'm going to do some home time. And while I'm doing some home time, I'm going to actually clean my truck out, get my truck ready, um, um, put a new fridge in my truck. Um, I'm going to do some new things in here. I'm going to really clearly clean it out. So until the next time, y'all, y'all be safe. Wash your hands. Stay at home. I know it's boring, but find something to do. Um, but stay safe. All my truck drivers out there, please stay safe and everything. Um, much love to y'all. Um, 
y'all can follow me on Instagram. And um, I appreciate all the trucker love on Facebook. I, oh, excuse me. I have had more requests on Facebook than I've ever had. Like the day I looked, I got like 84, 84 friend requests. No, I am not gonna tell y'all my Facebook. <laughs> y'all will have to find out on your own what my Facebook name is on Facebook. But until then, y'all be blessed and be safe out there. Deuces. Bye. Bye. You still can see me up in my big truck, boy. Smiling like a little kid when I spin the corner with my brand new toy. I got a talk and they call.